Hello everybody, welcome back to Arthanex Plays Thea the Awakening. Alright, so uh, we're about to end the turn. So let's do that. We have to wait until dawn before we can go up and get that divine quest. But we finished building our well. Um, where do we see that? Oh yeah, that's over here. Watchtower. So we got five buildings. Well, the well provides various resources. Oh, go away. Um, do we have any research? We do have some more research. We can unlock a new building. Actually, the smithy seems pretty good. Um especially since I would actually kind of like to craft another a better craft tool but only metal works for up there uh, um, that would be craft four that would be craft four craft three Dryad wood, metal wood, elven wood, it's craft three. So, is it worth spending ancient wood to make a craft four? What about, Yeah, let's make a smithy. Um, we actually have enough to make it out of granite. I'm curious, if we make it all out of like dryad wood, Crafting bonus three. Crafting bonus five. That's pretty good. Um, hmm. I'm curious if we'll get like chance of elf joining the settlement if we do um, if we make it all out of elven wood and what if we make it out of granite crafting bonus three crafting bonus three Crafting bonus five. Crafting bonus four. Crafting bonus five. I don't think, yeah, that doesn't make any difference. Um. Crafting bonus on top of the smithing tools. Yeah, I think that's worth it. We do have a fair amount of ancient wood. Oh, we could also use. Oh, that just takes it down to crafting bonus three. All right. Granite and ancient wood. All right, how do you start working on that? Take you 12 turns to build that smithy, and then after that, everything will get start getting built much faster. Um, you will finish.
finish crafting that in one more turn. Um, okay. And all of this stuff over. Six armor for forty six weight. Compared to this is four armor, one defense for twenty weight. I wonder if this is light armor or if this is clothing. I suspect that might be clothing. Um Number four defense. Okay. Give that to Zoskra. think there's anything else let's see I should have just had you oh, that's even lighter <laughs> um, And then I kind of want to wait one turn. Nobody's idle. Yeah, I know nobody's doing those. Level ups. It's awesome. We got so many research points that turn. We started working on a smithy. Um, do I want to research? I'm half tempted to research baked goods. Now, the last thing I need right now is more stuff to craft. I already have too much on my plate. Um, let's start working on getting to Mithril. We have a ton of gold. Yeah. Unlock effective against unnatural creatures. All right, let's unlock silver. And then maybe we can unlock mithril. Uh, and then I'm going to wait one turn for this club to be done. And I have to wait until dawn anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother. Uh, five bees. Right, I'm gonna auto resolve. A little bit wounded. Okay. Who got wounded? You got wounded. Mm -hmm. You're not wounded anymore. Okay. Um. Club. Let's get rid of Barbara's club and give her. The Dragon Crusher. Actually, I'm going to give the 
Yeah, I'm gonna give Zoska the Dragon Crusher. I'm gonna give Barba this one. She gets 23 damage. He has 16. Okay. Okay, now we'll head up here. And let's see. My craftsmen are using actually. Oh no, one of my craftsmen is actually a craftsman, the other one's a gatherer, but you're using three craft tools. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to bother doing that for one extra level of craft. Let's go ahead and start making... something fairly cool. Can't do heavy armor because we don't have enough metal. So... Let's make some dragon hide armor. So we'll do some dragon leather. We can actually use, let's see, topaz. Uh, let's put this in here so we can see what the different effects are. So topaz is 21 armor to leech. Malachite, 20 armor to leech. 21 armor, 2 leech, 1 dexterity. I'd rather not use more dragon armor. We could use dragon bones. 24 armor, 4 leech. 128. Yeah, I suspect that's what we're going to do. Ooh, no, I actually like that even better. 23 armor, 2 leech, 2 defense. 2 less leech, but 2 more defense. Um, what is... Sort of curiosity, what does this look like? 20 armor, 4 defense, 1 leech. No... Leech is, I don't, I'm not sure that Leech is all of that good of a stat. But I like the two defense. It's a little, it's a skosh less armor. But it works out to effectively 25 armor when you add in the defense. Um, and it only weighs 83. All right, let's do it. Um, the Kalava, you can start working on it. It's going to take you six turns. Okay, you're out of movement. So... We are done. Four wolves. All right, we'll fight them. Um, yeah, they got to go first. Mm. 
We do not have a first action available. Do we do have some confuses. Uh, okay, so let's put you out there. Um. Sure. Get rid of you. Then we'll do a confuse. Oh, we gotta end the turn. Okay, we'll do a confuse. And then we'll do a protect. And then we can throw these guys out. All right. So he'll take some damage. She'll take some damage. And then she'll kill two of them. And then he'll kill one. And she'll kill one. Okay. Uh, four bones, ten meat, three fur leather. Five rats. Oh, and I get to go first. And I get to play two cards. That's really bad for them. I don't really need to do anything else, I don't think. Uh, I don't have a counter offense. I don't have a counter tactic. Um, I do have some confuses. Uh, I wonder if this stuff carries over. I guess not. Okay. Not that it should matter. Almost looks like there's something there. Nope, guess not. All right, you find the remains of an old town built in solid stone with a large central building that even in its crumbled and rotting state looks very impressive. Like many such places, you feel the cold draft of the ever-present dark mist lurking in every corner. You see a faint light coming from one of the towers in the central building, and you know this is where you must go. Okay. You enter the old building and soon realize it must have been the place of great knowledge, even as, as even the entrance hall. Even in the entrance hall, there are vast shelves with remains of books on them. Indeed, as you go deeper, you find a rusted shield with the words, The pen is mightier than the sword, and the sword of knowledge defeats any foe. Before you make another step, you are met by a hooded stranger. Before you come to the Grand University of Krakus, how may I be of assistance? He chimes in, as if nothing was awry in the world. Um, Grand University, I think we met one of your fellows in the tower. Ah, yes, you must be referring to Professor Common from the Human Advances Department. He's been listed as being on sabbatical in an old tower for almost a century now. Or perhaps you speak of his esteemed colleague, Professor Hufka. He too likes towers, although he has been reprimanded for using illegal magic, you know. You may want to go up and speak to the board if your interest lies in either professor's fields. 
uh, a board meeting. What are you talking about? Excellent. You must be from another foreign delegation then. I've been told there might be latecomers. The board meeting is on the third floor in the Thorn Rose Room. You look towards the stairway and see it is crumbled and full of cracks, but should be safe to climb. Okay. Uh, you go upstairs and you find many more empty, eerie rooms filled with rotten bookshelves and destroyed books, laboratories with smashed equipment and lecture rooms, with decaying tables and the stench of death. But as you enter one such lecture room, you see that in the center, by the large round table, sit six people dressed in academic gowns. Hello? One of the fighters at the table turns towards you, and for a second you see only a skull, but then you blink, and an old man's face stares at you. Hello there. I see you have come seeking answers, yes? How did you find us? We were cursed long ago, never to be found by a living soul, and I dare say you look alive. Uh, well, our god told us to come here, you see. Ah, so they are finally strong enough to try and regain their powers, and they send you to seek answers. Uh, yes, you're correct. So what do you know of it? In short, we were the ones who took the power of the Pantheon to ensure our colleagues could burn the cosmic tree without interference. You took power away from the gods? Um, you're kidding, right? It was not easy, nor was it done without the aid of a powerful and evil magic, but it was done. Each god, you see, had their own duty, their domain, and it was both their strength and their weakness. By hitting them all at once, we also didn't give them a chance to aid each other as they normally would. You used dark magic? In principle, all we had to do was distract each deity long enough so that the other department, the human advancement, had time to destroy the cosmic tree. But we realized without magic of the strongest kind, we would fail. The elder peoples would not help, of course. They were sworn to uphold the pillars of the world. Many human kings and queens were also charged with championing the gods or protecting the sacred places, and thus finding grand mages willing to do the job was impossible. Yes, or rather they turned to us. I guess they have a nose for such a thing. A mage arrived at our doorstep, offering all the right answers. Even after we figured he was the famed Dark Lord banished long ago in a great war in the eye of the Westerlands, we still couldn't say no. It was him or nothing. Um... Faced with working with an entity so evil that almost devoured our world more than once on more than one continent, you thought it would all be fine. Yeah, you said you were a professor? Oh, don't get me wrong. We knew we were working with evil, but the pursuit of knowledge, of understanding, the very notion that we could defy the gods, it was glorious. I think the Lord didn't even break a sweat convincing us. Uh, it's disgusting. Can you tell him that no one realized what you were up to? Oh, they were suspicious. Some gods even took notice, but the Dark One was clever and diverted their gaze every time, building a fake army in his old stronghold and sending out omens of his return worldwide. This was a step one of, one of our plan. This was how we would trap the supreme gods. Yes, like Perrin and Mokosh in the Easterlands, every land of Thea had their own. They needed to be broken first, otherwise their power would protect the others. Mokosh we could not lure away. She is wise and careful, but Perun, well, let's just say he was keen to go to battle, very keen. Uh, so you said Mikosh didn't bite her bait, so how did she make her distracted? Well, in truth, she was the easy one, but only because she is so intimately connected with Thea. It's actually one of the most shameful acts, well, before we realized we destroyed the world, that is. There was a sacred garden, a cradle of light deep within the oceans. The elven people often went there to release their souls from the burden of their bodies and thus become pure energy. It was the favorite seat of Mikosh, and we destroyed it. The blow was so severe she was in shock for long enough for phase two. And sacrificed a monastery devoted to her worship. Mokosh is the mother of all things. Once the garden was gone, she was left vulnerable. The death of thousands of her worshippers was a blow too far. Normally, the others would have been called to aid, and they were, but none responded, at least not in time. So even before you destroyed Thea completely, you slaughtered thousands of innocent lives and destroyed a sacred place, and you were still thinking it's all for science? You're insane. Villainous, gruesome, evil, or impressive, grand and astonishing, it was all of these and none. Folly, that is, and what it truly was, for how can man ever hope to bring peace and prosperity by employing murder, dark magic, and deceit? 
Mukash is the mother Thea needs now. You need to find a way to restore her strength. I know not how to do it, but go to the Oracle, the one we trapped to help us with our stupidity. Ask her. Fine, we will. Where can we find her? Before I tell you, we must ask you a favor, of course. As we have been cursed to stay here, neither alive or dead for eternity, as punishment for our actions, a sentence we accepted with grace and understanding, it is not often you get to destroy the world and nearly kill off gods. However, we wish to be freed now. Uh, why would I help you? In any case, uh, because you need our help, because you're merciful, because you believe we paid enough, I could show you several papers we wrote about the subject. Um... The fact that you're using this information as leverage for release means that you've learned nothing. Yes, many of us share your enthusiasm for the punishment. We are tormented by our faults, believe me. But to be stuck like this forever, if you kill us, we will only suffer the pain of death. But eventually we will return, marked by another scar. <clears throat> but if you use your connection to the gods to break our curse, perhaps we can be released. Uh... Fourteen options unavailable. Your crimes are despicable, your arrogance beyond measure, and your stupidity in trusting dark forces goes beyond any measure. But your fate seems dire, and there is little point in more suffering in the world. Give us a location first, and then we will think about releasing you. Uh, the old man nods, his face mistered in a twir mixture in sadness. I have imprinted the location you seek in your minds. You will find it whenever you seek it. Um... So no matter what we do, we're going to have to do some kind of challenge. So we can attack them. Um, hmm. I have no particular desire to set them free, considering what they did. But while they're here, they possess the knowledge of how to do, the, do it again if someone were to come and try and do it again. So I think I shall probably try and release them if only to just remove their knowledge from the world. Um, Double divination damage to already hex creatures. I think this is an intellect challenge. When entering battlefield, the card enters below the enemy. Six cents. Damages your the enemy and heals you for the six cents amount. So that's like drain. All right. Uh, I don't know that we're going to win this, but it's not a physical challenge, so we shouldn't die, hopefully, even if we do lose. Although I suppose we might be cursed. Um, you seem pretty good at this. Let's play you first. And you do a lot of damage. Let's play you second. Intellect, yeah, it's an intellect challenge. Um, hmm, we can play one card. Those guys are going to attack that twice and it's going to die. Um, Counter offense level three. We probably can't do that. Counter tactic level seven. We could do that. Um, first action level seven. We could do that. Uh, let's do a counter tactic. I don't know what intellect tactics do, but I just assume not deal with them. Um, OK. 
Okay. Um, let's do a protect ally on him. Because he's pretty good. I'd like to save him if possible. Um, you go next. And last but not least, you can go. And there's no point in confusing that one. It's just going to die. Um, Sure, do a protect ally. Okay. Round two. Last one. We lost one. Okay. Acceptable. Um. You have nine left. All right, let's play you and do a first act. Um, right, let's play you and you. Uh, let's do oh, you do a protect ally, and then for this last one, we'll do a confuse. So that way they won't get to attack in the first round because he will kill that one, and all the rest of them are confused. So even though we only got to attack three times, we should. Be okay with that protect ally on him. All right, so we got to go one more round. Um, we don't have a first action, but we do have a confuse. So let's do that, and then we can just play these guys. Okay. All right. You take your time to meditate and find your inner peace. In this place of sorrow and darkness, you seek a link to your gods by opening up your hearts and souls. In the time the connection works, you're able to use it to cleanse the bonds of the forsaken solars. You feel a strong euphoria take over your bodies, and you know your deity approves of your honor and mercy. You now know where to go next in search of answers, and you feel a strong blessing upon you. Eight experience and three research. Um, the divine quest is up there. All right, let's continue towards it. Um, what resource? There was like a special resource that was up here somewhere. Oh, there's steel all the way up there.
There's spider silk all the way over there. Hmm. Well, we might go up and mine some steel. Or we might not. Um, I guess we'll go around this forest. Oh, herbalists. Yes, we will pick the herbs and we will kill the spiders. Um, okay. Um, oh, we only have to play one. Well, if we're only going to play one, that's the one I wanted to play. Uh, then we'll do a protect ally on him. And then we'll play you. With the 17 defense. Uh, then we'll do get closer on you two. Oh. Can't play you. All right, well, as long as he doesn't have too many more move to fronts, we should be fine. Okay, yeah, we should still be fine. It's going to be a good thing you did that um, protect ally on him, though. because he wound up taking quite a few hits. All right. Okay. 10, this time we got 10 spider skill, one dragon leather, one wrath of the dead, 18 dark wood and 19 scale butter. All right. And we are out of movement, we are out of movement. Down here. You know, I should craft some new gathering tools for these guys. I definitely should. Uh, after, after the next thing is done, I will do that. At least one. Uh, witness the Homan, a procession of skeletal wraiths. Some riding on carriages, some on skeletal horseback, some falling behind, behind, all dead and empty. Where the homeland go, a plague follows. Well, if medics and herbs help you battle this disease, it should be easier now. Okay. Uh, this is still going to be pretty tough. Uh, well, we didn't get to go first, so that's something. So I'll play our medic. And wouldn't play you. Odds are they won't use both combat tactics on the first turn. I suppose they might. And I confuse my medic. All right, well, let's get rid of this one. Um, we 
should still be okay here. It doesn't look like they do that much damage. Although, I suspect those will be real wounds. Which is going to be unfortunate. Um, Six. Damage. That's going to hurt. It's not going to knock her out, but. Oh no, that's right. She goes first. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> All right. So you fought off the plague's deadly advances as best you could. Some may still fall ill, but it could have been much, much worse. And those who survive feel stronger for it. Uh, so Lababir and Mila are both sick. They both got plus three health. Vaklava and Koslava got blessing of health. All right, try and take care of the sick as best we can. Um, will the herbalist get rid of sickness? Mm, poison. Cursed. Alright, I guess we'll just have to do our best. Uh, in the meantime, onward on the divine quest. Find the place imprinted in your minds by the professors. It is an old tower that seems to reach the very skies. Its surface is pure ivory, yet strangely shimmering as the sun rays hit its smooth surface. As you move closer, you see a balcony that looks unsettlingly like a large metal hand, and in its palm stands a tall hooded man while a young girl cowers behind him. The man speaks in a clattering, hard voice. Halt! Who goes there? Um... We have been directed here from the university, but before we say why, who are you? Who am I, you ask? Hmm. Me and my kind go by many names. Wizards, some call this in days past. The Council of Six we were, too. Emissaries or prophets, even by some, or rascals, necromancers, and meddlers by others. Here in the Eastern Land, Costege is the name given to me now, or the Bone Man, if you prefer a more literal nickname. But this answers your question not. I have taken upon myself to protect the oracle, a fleeting shred of my former duties, yet I take it rather seriously. So what were your duties then? Why so many names? Curiosity can be a blessing and a curse, young ones. Beware of what you ask. I will tell you this much. I and my fellow Costege, we have long been appointed custodians, or mentors to you like, to all mortal magic users, hence our most common name, wizards. But when the cosmic trees burns, our connection to both magic and the creator weakened, leaving our bodies withered and frail, Bony, you may say, the bone men were thus born, fears at heralds of death. I do not mind the name, nor its weight on my social standing. The oracle is one of the last great mortal mages left in this realm, and I am sworn to protect her. So she can give us some answers. She holds many answers to many questions, yes, but are you worthy of receiving them? And more importantly, are you willing to face your fate in order to learn your future? What do you mean? I sense your connection to the gods and their blessing fresh upon your souls. Thus I judge you worthy of the attempt. But the oracle can only guide you to find answers. You may need to face trials to receive what you seek. And these may prove difficult, if not lethal. Uh, what is it going to look like? A fight? You say you seek answers to restore the power taken from the gods. The test will likely take the form of what you seek. Thus you may face a shadow of the deity you serve, or perhaps even a true avatar. But whether it's combat they will seek, I do not know. I suppose it depends on your deity. All right, probably not combat then. The girl who stood silent and motionless... Throughout your encounter, steps out from behind her protector and spreads out her arms. The tower opens up before you, revealing a dark chamber, and inside the oracle silently gestures for you to enter. 
As you approach, you have a strange sensation as if you're about to face yourself in here. You enter the tower and find yourself walking on the surface on an endless ocean. Behind, beneath your feet, the water is clear and calm. You even see fish swimming in swarms, swerving from side to side. From the depths of the water arises a figure, first formed from water, then clearly a warrior clad in armor and seemingly ready for combat. None other than the Mokosh. Um, so we can do a strength, or we can do social. Um Hmm I'm not sure which one would be easier. I think one will try social. Um I don't know, maybe we should have done strength. It's going to depend on how good their social is. And that's pretty good. Um, hmm. So that's 21 damage twice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already lost. Um, all right, I'm going to try this actually worked so that's something um, Um, all right, let's do that too. So there's Mokosh. Why couldn't we have gotten her out of there, huh? Um, hmm. So the first attack is going to do 10 and then 11. So we should probably put you up there first. You can soak one round of attacks. Then we can do you. Mm, well, let's do you next. Oh, right. We still have one more to go. Uh, should we use counter tactics? Oh, well, we're out of cards, so we can't. Um, let's see, would he get to attack? He's not going to get to attack twice. So... Um, so next we should do him. And then him. And then her with a support ally. 
All right, this is going to be ugly. Yeah, so they wipe her out on the first round. Okay, we fight them out on the first round, but then it's not quite going to wipe me out. I am going to get a counterattack. Okay. And we still have two of our best people on the back row. And they still get to go first. At least I didn't play two cards this time. Um, there's 11, so he can tank that. All right, let's get him out there. Oh, we get to play two cards. Um, hmm. Let's do that. And then all right. <coughs> um so you should do a support ally, then you can at least finish that one off. Eighteen, fourteen. Uh, hmm. Four. Finish him off, All right? She's gonna finish off Mokosh. Um, all right, well, we obviously gotta get her out there. And gonna kill no matter who she let's do we get closer she can she can tank it for her she also does a little bit of damage Hmm, this one might come down to who gets to go first. All right, we got to go first. So we m probably can win this then, since we got to go first. We kill that one in the first phase. <coughs> and that one in the second phase. Well, I cannot believe we won that fight. <laughs> they don't get any closer than that. Um... Kindness is not always wise. Words are not always the best of weapons in times of terror. And yet you have remained calm and approached me with respect like a child should its elder. I am pleased with your growth, my young ones. Now go into the cradle of life. Plant these seeds I shall now give you. And when faced with the ghosts that haunt that place still, you my blessing to banish them and cleanse their souls. Uh, we gain ten poppy seeds. Uh, blessing of speech. Blessing of will. Wow. Three will, three will. So the four people who aren't here gain three will. They all got a blessing. I will do as you command. Uh, looks like.
Looks like that's on the other side of the lake. Okay. Uh, we still have one movement left. Which way we should go around the lake? What is this? Seaweed. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, and there's another source of vines up there. Um, I guess we'll go north for now. Um, uh, let's see, we got another research point. Um, I'm going to research another gathering. Let's see. Let's do... Mithril. There's the silver. There's the seal, spider silk. There's the granite. There it is. That's actually not too far away considering yeah that is totally doable of course it's in the opposite direction of the way I went now but that is conceivably totally doable all right well that's going to do it for this episode thanks for watching everybody next time we will continue on our divine quest and see where it leads us I will see you then and until then have a terrific day